Whilst well, at training this week, I, uh, I thought I'd set my gimbal up and uh, just record a quick video of how I get in and out of my wheelchair basketball chair. Uh, as you can see, I'm just doing, undoing all the straps and I'll talk through those as I'm, uh, as I'm then putting them back in. And you'll notice the uh, wheelchair basketball chair as well has no brakes. Um, it won't be up against the wall to stabilise it. Um, what I'll do here is um, when I transfer into it, I'll move myself just to the front of my chair holding on to the frame of my day chair and then the frame of the wheelchair basketball chair I'm able to hold it in place and just a nice easy transfer across uh, I have no use of my um, my body from my chest down so you'll see here I've got to physically pick my uh, my feet up put them into the into the foot plate which has a little lip on the front which stops my feet going forwards and then I've got to just strap my feet in always feels a bit precarious when I'm doing this because there's nothing from stopping me uh, falling forwards there and uh, once my feet are strapped in a few essentials really need to make sure that my uh, my tracky bottoms have not dropped down so I've got to pull them up this is important because I'm, I'm always cautious that uh, I'm looking after my skin I'm just going to tuck my t-shirt in the reason I tuck my t-shirt is, is to make sure that when I've got all my strapping on the t-shirt doesn't ride up if it does ride up it means that all that strapping is going to be exposed to my skin and again can potentially uh, compromise um, the parts of my body that I can't feel. So here I've got two uh, waist straps again I've got no control of my core at all and this kind of simulates um, ab muscles for me so I've got two that actually go around my stomach and then I've got a ratchet strap which um, locks me into the chair um, and that's going to really anchor me into the chair. Um, I say I'm always going to be cautious that my t-shirt's not rippled and it's not going to be causing any damage to my skin. Um, but this gives me a good amount of balance. Um, you know, considering I've got no core stability at all. Um, my final strap that goes on, I've got two straps that go over my knees. Um, and this is just to prevent my uh, my legs from moving around. Once I'm now in the chair, I'm, I'm completely anchored in and it gives me a good range of movement. And, um, and the session was over. I did a two hour uh, session. Uh, thank you for um, Southport Meters for letting me join. And again, just uh, transferring back into my day chair. Now I do have the brakes on my day chair to prevent it from moving. First thing I do, undo all the strapping, get my feet out. And the reason I want to get my feet out first is I want to try and transfer my feet locked in the foot plate. Um, and it's just how I got in. Move my front myself to the front of the chair, hand on my day chair, quick transfer across, pop my feet back in the foot plate, and I'm safely back into my day chair. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll find the links in the description below.